Um, me and Tim are Firehound Forge and we're located over in the West Midlands. Um, and we make uh, small scale stuff. We've done everything from weather vanes to uh, wedding rings, historical reproductions and the like. Um, it's basically whatever whatever people come in asking for us to do, we'll we'll give it a, a darn good shot, really. What sorts of challenges do you face in your work? Is there any aspect of your work that's more difficult than others? The biggest challenge we've actually had in this last couple of years is finding somewhere to work. Um, the, the main problem is finding somewhere to work because uh, it's either quite expensive, like an industrial estate, or you're looking for barns. And, there's, there's not that many places. We've been looking for up seven months now, but actually in the ironwork, it's uh, it's figuring out the best way to go about stuff. If you ask the community, the blacksmithing community in the UK is absolutely fantastic. We tease, taunt, and take the mick out of each other for something ridiculous, but the moment you need to ask a question like, what is the best uh, air hardening steel for this job, or I've been asked to make uh, a set of gates for this, but I need to... Um, you just ask and they'll, they'll come to you aid. So there's not many problems that you can't, you can't figure out by asking the right people. Yeah. How did you become a blacksmith? Uh, it's a good question. Sometimes I forget. Uh, I, I came out of university um, about four years ago and I'd done my dissertation on arms and armour in the Bronze Age and done some of the Iron Age there. Um, and that, that piqued my interest in, in iron work and the like. Uh, and it was, I, I lived quite close to Heronwood anyway, which is where the National School of Blacksmithing is. And I, because I, I did archaeology at university, I, I'd handled quite a few artifacts, so it just felt like felt like a natural progression, really. I wanted to do something a bit more practical with my hands, and just seemed like a, a nice evolution of that. What's your favourite type of thing to work on, and what's the best thing you've ever made? I've made some very, very cool things um, over the last couple of years because I've been flitting from workshop to workshop. I, I've been very careful about how much I take on. But my favourite thing has got to be um, I made uh, wedding rings to two, um, two of my best friends. And they weren't overly impressive. They were nice, simple, clean, just, you know, your raw iron. But it was all, the fact that someone is trusting you to make something they're going to wear for the rest of their life, it, it's quite an honour. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And finally, do you have any tips for aspiring blacks? Yes, definitely. It's quite difficult to get into the craft um, if you are if you're in the wrong area. But there are lots of absolutely fantastic blacksmiths around the UK. There's about two and a half thousand of us, um, give or take. Um, my suggestion would be type into Google blacksmith courses in my area. A lot of blacksmiths do half day or full day taster sessions, um, like Kingdom Forge do over in Suffolk and me and Tim do in the West Midlands. Um, and try that, try your hand in it, see what you feel. And if you if you take a, if you're natural if you just like it, look into the Hereford um, uh, Hereford College, the, the National School of Blacksmithing over in Home Lacey. That's where we were taught, and they they produce some well, they got some of the best blacksmiths in the UK. Team there, they're, they're really really nice guys over there. So yeah, that would be my recommendation. Also join a join a Facebook group. Um, the Baba Facebook page is pretty good. Yeah. Cool. No worries. That's Thank everything. you very much. Thank you very much. No worries.